All right, today we're going to be looking at a uh, new sight pusher. Uh, it's from AccuCraft. You can find these on Amazon, about, I think about $9,900. Um, there should be a link down in the description. If you want to go pick one up, you can. These uh, overall, for the price, seemed very well made, sturdy. It's obviously a, a copy of Wheeler's a sight pusher. There's a few differences here and there, how it's put together. And the wheel on the side that you turn to push the sights is a little different. Which this is also metal, um, but it feels a little bit more sturdy. But I do like the narrow design of this because I've had to put like a breaker bar, a little small little, to get a little bit more torque on it. So we're going to use it today. We're going to pull some sights off my Walther PDP. I went ahead and picked that one because it's a popular gun right now. And I feel like that's a gun that's getting a lot of sight changes um, right now that I have at least. So we'll put this one up. And we'll uh, kind of show you how it all works and, you know, what to, what to do here. So you start off, you're going to twist these two big knobs on the top. Now you don't have to take them all the way off, but I usually do. And we're going to see, because this is the first time I'm using this one since I received it. So we'll be, um, I'm basing my judgment off the one I've used before. We'll pull the top half off, which will, these two washers are separate, so keep those so they don't fall off. And then what you have is your main base, but you can see at the bottom the way it's milled out, it can be put into a vise, which if we have to, we will. I've had to on some sites, I've, I've not had to on some sites, but it just depends with the other um, tool. So you have four, um, basically knobs, here. Four knobs that will put the pressure on the slide to keep it straight and keep it where you when it's getting pushed so it doesn't it doesn't rock back and forth those are a tad bit smaller on this one but i think they'll work uh, fairly well so typically what i do i'm gonna go ahead and get those knobs all the way out and go to the top half you have a set of millimeters and inches up here that you can use to mark where the sights are when you take them off or you're putting them back on depending on what you're doing if you're just seracoting or taking the sights off to to get a um, striker lock out depends you know what you got it is but whatever whatever reason you're taking the sights off um or if you're changing them you can mark it so you know when you get your first torqued over to where what side right where you get on the site you can say okay i'm at 25 millimeters and then when you go put them back on you'll know that this line's back up i also use a pencil sometimes that's um, another way of doing it to get them back to being the exact same as they were so when you flip this over you have another bar here that's turned from the top Just a little stiff, it's been out in the garage. Tighten that back up here. No, that one don't tighten. It just spins. That's right. So, let me get this back. I believe. It doesn't torque down. It's supposed to be. Which it won't matter, I don't believe. So you have to see when you get yours. If not, if that one spins, which I could tighten that locking jam nut up in there. And but I don't think it's gonna matter for, for its purpose. So basically that sits on top of the slide um, when you put the sight tool in and keeps the, the top having some kind of locking mechanism on it. So basically what I normally would do when I'm running one of these is I go ahead and mask it up just because if it's my gun, maybe it's a customer's gun of yours, you don't want to mar up the slide and putting force with uh, little metal rods is going to do some kind of marring, especially if it slips by chance. Um, if it all goes perfectly, it shouldn't, but it never hurts. The tape isn't going to hurt anything. It's better than, uh, better than nothing, so typically I'll put a couple pieces of masking tape on there this is all i could find at the house i don't know where all my other masking tapes went but i typically like the more rough side uh, style of painter's tape so i'll put it there and i'm also going to run a couple pieces on the top 
typically. Just where that top locking arm comes down. And I really shouldn't be doing this because I'm about to go shoot this gun here in about an hour. So hopefully we can get everything. Take your recoil spring out in the barrel too. It doesn't matter. But So typically, now that we've got it set in between before we go ahead and tighten these up you can get them pre-started you still want to be able to move it back and forth and what you'll do there's some tape where the sights are going to be pushing at is go ahead and set the top half down onto it and then as you go you want to line it up and then Get your top half. Set down on there. See, that's not going to be enough, so I'm going to pull it up another little bit. Let's see if that'll set down far enough. Won't. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. So this will not go up high enough to let the sight pusher go all the way down. So It's not going to let it go all the way down as far as I need it to go down on the site. So I don't know if the uh, I'll think about what we can do in this situation. Because normally, if you look at this one, it doesn't have that big jam in that, which is stopping it from going all the way up. So what I'm going to do... Probably gonna have to take that off there. I don't know if this would actually do anything. I think it's okay. So one size does not fit all. Let's see if I can get it to go a different way, but I doubt it. It's already seemed like it's not gonna work for this specific gun, so. See, it's not going to go down far enough. Unless we rotate it in. Push it forward more. So it sits into the sight channel, maybe. That's a little better. But it's still not as much contact on the uh, pusher or on the sights as I would like. So I'm seeing a flaw there. So that it, it is gonna be subjective to different pistols. We might have to uh, pull out something else and see. So typically you'd lock those down and then I try to get these tightened up snug but not over tightened at the same time to make sure that it's staying straight and so it should end up looking like that and see so yeah it's just not going down far enough for me to want to push that side out but from there you would want to make sure you have no set screws first in the sides like MMPs do and you'd start cranking from uh, right to left typically it depends on your sights you need to look up what gun what manufacturer recommends. Now see these are pushing easily out. Which I, I love that. I love to see that. Even the little contact that it did make. Um, it's pushing those sights right out. 
So that's nice. If you've ever tried to change the sights on a uh, Springfield, yeah, um, another flaw check mark on Springfield, they're almost impossible. And I'm talking old XDs, XDMs. They put them sights on so damn tight. I don't see how they could ever come off. Um, a sight pusher ain't gonna do it. So it's pushing them right off. That's uh, probably the easiest factory sight I've ever took off using a pusher, punch tool, anything. So that went on nice. And I was I was a little I was a little um, worried there for a minute, seeing how it wouldn't go all the way as low as it's still higher up than I'd prefer the contact point on the sights. And you know, it's it's I'd prefer it a little lower. You want to get it as far down to the base as you can without scratching the top of the slide. So that's the only flaw I'm seeing with the sight pusher so far. This handle and the torque that it's putting behind to push those sights off is really nice. Everything is well made on it. I mean, it, it feels well. I think that's just a small design flaw that I think could be fixed on your own by taking that main um, jam nut out and just securing the the top piece, the, the, the locking uh, piece, I don't know what to call it, taking that jam nut out and that would give you another quarter to, um, you know, a little bit more clearance so it would, it, it could move down further because that's the problem is it won't go down, the top half won't go down. Um, so we're not going to pull them all the way off. I don't really see the point. You see how easy they're coming off. Walther doesn't use. One thing you'll want to, if you do push this, use this sight pusher, you want to make sure anytime you're removing sights that you know on that gun whether it has a firing pin block mechanism that is the spring comes off through the top sights. There's a, there's quite a few guns. Um, I can't think of I can't think of them right now. If you watch my channel, I'm sure there's um, a bunch that I've talked about, but that you when you pull the sight pusher off either you're going to have a plunger and a spring that holds the firing pin block in place or something so always be sure you don't want to just pop it off air and then boom spring goes flying and you're spending an hour looking for a spring the size of something very small so now we're going to go ahead and put them back on so let's say i took these off i was putting new sights on i would take the top half off dispose of the old sights get my new sights whichever they are most sights are going to be very tight putting back on and they usually require some sort of filing to get them perfect so you put them on you start to torque down and if they're they're taking a, a extra amount of torque that you don't feel comfortable or that the pusher isn't using you'll want to file off a bit of the base now that's a that's a story for another video but or a, a lesson for another video but overall we're just showing how easily this pushes these PDP sights off. I'd imagine it pushed the MP sights off too. Those aren't too bad. Um, we could probably pop an HK in here. We'll see how well it does on the HK um, and see if it moves. So we'll, 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 after this, we'll cut the video and we'll bring a few different pistols out and see how well, see if it will go down, <laughs> go down on those slides properly. You know, it's, it's hard to make a one-size-fits-all device. Um, so I can get why um, this one isn't just perfect for the PDP. Now, you're going to put new sights on. They're usually higher, right? Especially if you're changing PDP sights, you're probably putting sub-sights on them. So um, try to get her line back up. Touch it and see it's about right where it was. Then we'll pull our top twos off. Remove the top portion. I'll show you if again what I was talking about. Let's go ahead and remove the sides. Take our tape off. So yeah, if you have a PDP and uh, you're looking to do sight changes or if you own firearms, 
and you know you, you change a lot of sites you order them online you want to do them yourself you know this is a good tool to have in the arsenal um is it going to do every site out there no the the, the wheeler's not the only one that I know they'll do every one is the MGW, and you're paying five, six hundred bucks for that, plus a shitload of money for every manufacturer's certain um, blade that they use to, to move the sights. So that's more higher in gunsmith um, type sight pusher. This is more for the home hobbyist. You own a lot of pistols, you change out sights a lot. This is a, um, a a good pusher, and I'm and I'm fairly impressed with it. And I'm just saying that because. Um, they, they did send this to me, asking me to make the video. I don't bullshit. I don't care if you send me stuff. Um, I'm gonna, if it broke, I'm... Okay, so, I've done a little fooling around with this sight pusher, and I figured out, um, either A, it's not in the instructions because I don't have them, or it could be in the instructions. I don't have them. I don't know what I did with them, if they were even in the box. But, so what I did, if you go through, you get a bag of little tools with them, um... And you got three different Allen wrenches. If you use the small one and go in on the side of this, easier this way, and you unscrew it just a little bit, you can pull this part off and then loosen that jam nut and take it completely off. And that's going to stop it, or it's going to allow it to go up a lot higher. And now it sits like it should. So maybe that's in the instructions. Maybe it's shipping or something. I don't know. Um, but now, the MP I tried before, it wouldn't even go close to getting it on there. But now you can see. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Now, I'm dead on lower that I want to be when I go to push. If I'm pushing these sights off, now I'm a lot lower, closer to the slide. Gives it more to bite as it's pushing. So that is how that goes um you can also i didn't mention before you have you can flip this over depending on what sites you have i couldn't tell you what sites but different sites may take this slanted side um easier they might work better on them um versus the straight flat sites and glock sites i think use just a standard flat most of the sites i use i haven't had to use this site so on my other one he does the same thing so got the m p um I'm not going to take the PDP off again because I know it'll work, but we'll try this HK. And then what you'll do, you get it down and say I don't, I want it to go lower, I'll just pull it up. I can't go any higher with that one, but this one sits about right. Could go a little lower, but you may flip it and see because this is these are slanted. Let me see if I can go. Up. Oh, I can go up higher. There we go. Yeah. There we go. So now it's sitting further down. It'll be a lot easier to push the sights out. So like I said the sights I did remove on that PDP yeah, extremely easy. Um, I'm. I'm overall pretty impressed with the build quality of it um I, I like this handle i think this handle is a lot better than the the wheelers version and there's not too much to say about it i mean it's a sight pusher like i said before if you're someone who is a hobbyist you do a lot of sight changes you buy a lot of guns you switch out sights you don't like the gun shop doing it then this may be a, a good option for you to have definitely not going to hurt to have in your arsenal of tools so i'd definitely uh look into it and let's we'll see we'll uh get our guns put back together and we'll be ready to go so that's uh that's the accucraft sight pusher tool links down in the description if you want to pick one up um and um you know let me know where you where you found this video because i want to see where it ends up and um we'll go from there so yeah check it out